Hi, my name is Brian Rakovic with Heat Seal located in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm here to show you the simple threading process on the HDSA 1721 automatic L bar sealer. First, ensure that proper air and power is supplied to the machine. The main power button is turned on. The touch screen is fully booted up. Ensure that the run switch is turned to the off position, and then any alarms are reset. The first step for threading the machine is to open the pin perf drive roller mechanism and also ensure that the, each of the pin perf rollers are aligned with the slots in the rubber drive roller. The HDSA1721 uses center folded polyolefin shrink film. The first step would be locate the open, the open side of the film. The roll is simply loaded with the open side of the film facing the electrical control box. The roll can then be slid over to match on the scale the approximate height of the product. For example, the one inch high product, the edge of the roll is at the one inch mark. And the last step is simply sliding the roll guides into position and locking them down. Once the roll is located on the film cradle, you'll note that the film is unwound off the bottom of the roll on top of the back roller of the film cradle. I then simply pull out approximately two to three feet of film. I thread it over the top of the rubber drive roller, over the top of the first idler roller, and down underneath the dancer arm. I can then close the drive mechanism, and as I lift the dancer, the film is unwound, and I continue over the top of the next idler roller. I'm now continuing from the dancer arm up over the first idler and down over the second idler. Again, with the open side of the film that we've located toward the electrical box, the film is opened and each side of the film is placed around the film splitter bar. And lastly, I go underneath the very bottom idler, the static eliminator, and I can pull the machine, pull the film toward the front of the machine. I'm now located on the front side of the machine and I'm going to pull approximately three feet of material towards me. On the top of the machine, you'll see the film inverter, and then underneath, on the bottom side of the machine, is located a mirror image of that film inverter. What I simply then do is I open, I open the folded film, and I take the bottom layer of film and place it around the corner of the bottom film inverter, and then I can simply slide it to my left, which is on the right side of your screen, until I have an approximate straight line towards me. Then, with the bottom layer of film still in my left hand, which again is on the right side of your screen, I take that bottom layer and loop it around the bottom of the infeed conveyor, matching it up with the top layer and pulling forward. You also ensure that the top layer of film is placed over the upper inverter. I'm now going to show that same threading process from the, uh, from the operator's viewpoint. Again, I, I pull out approximately three feet of material. I open up the two layers of film. The bottom layer is in my left hand. The bottom layer is then pulled around the corner of the bottom inverting head and slid over so you get an approximate straight line. Again, with the bottom layer of film in my left hand, I'm going to pull that layer down and around and underneath the infeed conveyor and simply place the top layer of film over the top of the inverting head and match the two layers together. Again, once I've pulled the bottom layer of film underneath the infeed conveyor, I bring the top layer over to match the two together, push it through the rubber rollers and into the chain pull mechanism. Now using the manual seal and feed buttons, I'm going to feed and cut film through the machine to produce a scrap tail approximately six inches long. Seal, remove, feed, seal, remove. Now as I reach in, as I feed the film, I can actually grab it with my left hand. Again, seal. Feed, seal, feed, seal, 
until I produce a scrap tail that's approximately six to eight foot long. With the scrap tail removed, I'm going to now thread the scrap tail back to the rewind. They simply go between the metal cover and the top idler, down past the second idler, and in between the metal cover and the, bot the bottom idler, and then I simply push the film under the machine, ensuring that it is behind the casters and leveling pad. The next step is to wind the scrap I've just created onto the scrap rewind. After opening the scrap rewind access door, I simply remove the outside flange. I locate the scrap I had produced before, and the first step is to come around the white idler roller on the bottom, up over the top of the aluminum idler roller, and down underneath the scrap rewind dancer arm. I can then simply wrap the tail around and tie a couple of simple overhand knots and remove or replace the uh, scrap rewind flange. Once I've done that, I simply rotate it clockwise. And you're ready to go. After the scrap tail is wound onto the scrap rewind, it's simply a matter of closing the access door and resetting the alarm. The machine is now ready to set up for packages.